Good morning, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am here at NASA today. Look at this. Look at like look at all of this stuff. This is the coolest thing ever. Everything's a little Christmassy here. Like they have trees and big ornaments and garland everywhere. I have never been here before, so you guys are learning right along with me. That is so cool. All right, guys, we're going in. And this is what we're looking at, if you guys don't know. See, this is like a space shuttle, and then all of this, those are like the engines. So it takes all of this, I can't even get it all in the shot at once. It takes all of this to power a space shuttle into space. So I guess all of the fuel in these three things burn in about 10 minutes combined. So this is the space shuttle Atlantis. This has actually been to space and back. I think it's amazing on the nose of it. You can see the burn marks from re-entry. Of course, all these tiles are like heat proof and can resist that, but they still got some marks on them. idea that there were so many astronauts that had done so many missions. All the exhibits here at Kennedy Space Center have been very, very cool and very, very informative. But it doesn't get much cooler than just seeing all these rockets out here. Now I am going to grab a bite to eat and then I am headed over to get my media credentials and take the uh, behind the scenes tour. I got my badge, made it on the bus, now we are inside Kennedy Space Center. You can see the VAB, Vehicle Assembly Building. Right now we are headed to the like news office where they're going to brief us on a whole bunch of stuff, but it's getting cool. So it was a quick briefing, basically we just got the schedule and introductions, and now we are headed to that building. Guys, look how tall this thing is. This isn't even the top, like over there, can you see how high up it goes? Wow. This is where they assemble everything. Any of the space shuttles, any of the rockets that NASA is building get assembled here. I wish you guys could really see the scope of how tall that is. It is insane. This yellow band right here is 16 floors. So you can imagine that plus oh, that at least double again, maybe triple. This is a mobile launch pad. So the shuttle would go on top of there. This is the main engine. Those two are where the boosters would exhaust out. And then here, these tracks are where the trucks would come in. So if you guys have seen on TV, like the shuttle crawling down the road, it's sitting on this. It looks a lot bigger standing up next to it than it does on TV. Like on TV, you're like, oh, it's barely off the ground. No, that's huge. And this back here is a mock-up of the Orion. They're working on that now. And he said that what they do when they start working on something is they do lots and lots of mock-ups. They have this one, they have pieces of it mocked up over there, just to make sure everything would fit right. My engineering and nerdy brain is going like crazy right now. I cannot imagine this. So apparently he just told us that part of Transformers 3 was filmed right in the middle here. So any of you not nerdy people who like Transformers 3, does it look familiar? Any of this look familiar? We just got off the bus and everyone is like frantically trying to take pictures of the rocket. That is the rocket that is gonna go into space tomorrow. The sun is setting right now, so it's kind of hectic to try and get all of our photos in before it goes away, but look at that. I am shocked personally that it's not upright. Like I expected it to be in the vertical position, but it's just laying there horizontally. Two brave people just walked up closer to the fence and now everyone's like, oh, we can get closer. So you guys are all taking pictures of that photography strictly oh, prohibited yes, sign? Okay, good, yeah, good, yeah. Good. That's, yeah. that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy. There are already so many cameras set up pointing at this rocket. Like everything is ready for tomorrow. But surprisingly, there's a lot of construction equipment and just porta potties and like scrap metal and everything still around. I would have expected that to be all cleared out, but it's a working site. 
I love how excited a ray is. Like, it makes me so happy. I have to take my own selfie, of course, but this is cool. I was really hoping to get like super up close to the rocket, but this is as close as we can get. We're not allowed to touch the fence because it makes alarms go off. We can't go past like these cones on either side of us, so this is the view. Still, I'm okay with that. It's pretty cool. All right, I am back at my hotel. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Be sure and connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. It's Kristen as a mom on both platforms. If you connect with me there, you will see more real time photos of what's happening. The rocket launches tomorrow, so I'm super excited to be there and record that and share it with you. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. It's like a bucket list thing to see a rocket go into space and there's a landing, like they're bringing part of the rocket back after it launches. So we're going to experience that too. There's going to be like a sonic boom and all sorts of crazy stuff. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.